Hey, what is up YouTube, it's me Dark back with and as doing this video and since the wipe is right around the corner I haven't been trying to do any progressing through the uh, quest because you know the wipe and then there's no point but instead doing all the tiers and you know all the behemoths like you know tier 2, 3 and f as, as a 4 the behemoths and it gave me an idea to talk about my top 4 behemoths why 4 and not 5 because my first would probably be Rezakiri but I haven't really done Rezakiri yet because I haven't got to Rezakiri and I wouldn't even know if I really liked him and plus I don't have any gameplay of Reza so instead we're doing 4 anyway before we get into the video remember this is my opinion and you know blah 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 you've heard it all before in my opinion you can disagree right in the comments you know if you don't like it if you like others but anyway let's get right into it at number five, we have the fiery feline rhino thing. Yep, Emberman. See, I like Emberman not because he's easy. No, no, he's not easy at all. In fact, he's the opposite. He's, he's just annoying as hell with the speed. And trust me, with my lag, it's even more annoying. But besides the fact how hard he is, Emberman as a behemoth is pretty damn cool. I mean, if I could be a behemoth, I'd, I'd probably be Emberman. Just because of his speed and fire attacks. Oh, his armor is quite nice as well. Probably the best tier 3 armor. Yeah, it probably is. Actually, no, Scrape is quite nice as well, but we're talking about Emberman, and it's not almost quite nice. But yeah, the reason he's at number 5 is because of his dif dif difficulty. But yeah, let's let's go on with the next one. Alright, at number 3, we have Nezalga. You know, if Drask and Quillshot had a baby, this world would make. With his spikes and electric powers, Nezalga is actually a really cool behemoth. What I like most about Nezaga is that when you're fighting him, it's like you're playing a whole other mini game. What I mean by this, sure you're fighting him, but you also gotta take out the electric spikes. So, um, or you're not really gonna get far, you know, with seven electric balls coming at you every few seconds. So yeah, so it's like, like you're in a safe you're in a duo, you've got two people I mean one person taking out the spike and one person dealing with Nezaga. And, and that's what we're doing in the gameplay you're seeing right now. I'm taking out the spikes and the other guy's taking out Nezaga. And it works as we actually kill him at the end. I haven't done that many times. But what about that time? So yeah, plus you got that four huge spike demon in the way. And you are destroys that and it stuns Nezaga. But yeah, all of that makes the hunt much more fun. And it makes it different from the other hunts. And obviously, his armor is quite nice as well. Alright, so next up we have the rock. AKA Skarn. Now Skarn is a pretty cool behemoth as, and as well as this that in my opinion is quite an easy behemoth as its attack pattern is quite easy to learn and you know the satisfaction you get from taking out the armor is quite nice. It's like getting a break every few seconds especially if the hammer already acts it's quite nice you just keep breaking his armor it's quite nice. Some of his moves are really easy to stun him, such as the one where he stands on two legs before he stomps down twice. You can just hit his stomach or legs a few times and just drop back. And when he's a spinny move to suck you in and hurt you, you can just trip him or shoot him with a hammer. And boom, he's down again. Also, getting his armor, uh, you know, getting like uh, hitting his armor off gives you a little stun as well to have some free attacks. But yeah, he's quite fun, he's quite cool. And yeah, let's go on to the next one. Last, but not least we got Karabag. See everyone seems to hate Karabag because he's so annoying and he just bleeds and bleeds and bleeds and bleeds and bleeds and then he can take you out so easily if you're not prepared. Which is true, but he's also really cool. Again, like Emberman, I kind of love him, but hate him as, uh, like at the same time, just because he's really cool, but hard as hell. His abilities are so cool, it's cuts, it's throwing blades, and it goes in viz. I mean, it's, it's a pretty cool behemoth, but like, it's so hard, but I still put him in the number one spot just because I just love the concept of this behemoth and it's armor. Oh my god, it's armor is quite nice, not gonna lie. Anyway, so that wraps up uh, my top four behemoths video. Uh, yeah, so if you did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe for more, comment your favorite behemoth below in the comments if you uh, got this far into the video. Uh, join Discord, links in the description, and I'll see you all. Into the next one. Wow.